Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of In The Pan with Joe and Diane. In today's episode, uh, it's Joe versus Diane, a cook-off. We've got this colourful spinny wheel. Now we're going to take it in turns to spin the wheel, it's going to land on a colour, and whatever colour that is, we can only cook food that are of that colour. Okay Diane, spin that wheel! <laughs> what colour are you cooking with? Come on green. Green. green, green, the winning team. Why do you want green? Actually, green would be quite very Green's easy. Green's good. You could have all sorts of vegetables. Green's like the gr golden green. Oh! oh <laughs> no! Diane has purple. Is there anything purple? I can think of one thing, but I'm not going to tell you what it berries. is. Blueberries. Are they blue? Well, it's, it's, it's blueberries. Yeah, but they're actually purple. Stupid name, actually, for a blueberry. They're actually blue. Yeah, they are actually, aren't they? Wait. No, they're, they're, they're purple. On. They're purple. They are quite purple. Yeah, they're purple. Why are they called blueberries? <laughs> well, we're not dying. This is going to consist of blueberries. They should be blueberries. called purple berries. Right, my go. Come on, I kind of Come want. Come on, pink. I wouldn't mind. What's left? Go pink. Go pink. Go pink. Go. Oh. oh okay. No, that's orange. Easier actually, than mine. Orange is good. You could get actually an orange. Yeah, but it's, you're cooking a meal. I don't know how far an orange is going to go. Without further ado, let's get our shoes on. Probably our coats because the weather's rubbish. And go to the shops and get our food. Let's go. I think I'm gonna go with. Oh, this is really difficult. What will I make? Grapes. God knows what I'm gonna make with sweet stuff. I definitely need to get aubergine because that's gonna be my staple. Okay, think, Diane. I just need to think a bit. So, orange foods, orange foods. Straight away, I spot one. The good old trusty orange pepper. Gosh. Just found the perfect base for my meal. It's a beetroot pizza base. Now that is definitely purple. So I'm gonna go with. I'm thinking like a sweet and savory pizza. Sounds awful. Mm. Yes. Size matters. Currently looking for purple onions. Do we class the cheap if I use this? Cajun. It's or technically that's orange. To me, that's definitely orange going in. I've also gone for a sweet potato, although it doesn't actually look orange. Um, when it's mashed up, it will do. Right, I now need to find an orange cheese. Orange cheese. Ooh. Red Leicester. Bingo. Now I'm going to go a little bit rogue here. Bit of a shout. We'll see if it goes down well or not. Doritos. Interesting choice. We'll see if that goes down once again. Kind of controversial, we'll go for it. Honey, does that count as orange? That's not orange enough. I need like a darker one. That's orange. How are you getting on? Oh, I don't, because I'm <laughs> I think you're struggling, aren't you? A little bit. I'm oh. trying to see if there's any kind of purple cheese. Like, there's only blue, right? There's plenty of orange cheeses down here. Oh, wait, you haven't got orange, have you? No. Too oh bad. My God, look the wheel. At you. No, don't look, don't look. It's so weird look. looking at your basket and it's don't all look. purple. I think I'm finally done. I've got my basket of purple. And I think I've done quite well, actually. I don't know if it's all going to go together well, but we will see. There we go. <laughs> right. We've got our... <laughs> okay, we can't do that in every episode. That was my knees. Right. We've got our food. My bag's looking bigger than yours also. Yeah, I don't need many ingredients. Can I have extra points because my bag is orange? No, you cannot. Diane, let's go with what you got first. Okay, well, my contents. colour was purple, so purple. I'm going for... I got a beetroot pizza base, Oh, though. go on. I know. That's doesn't, good. Doesn't that look good? Steam cooked and ready to eat. Beetroot. Beetroot. Okay. Okay. So well, you've basically it's just very, very, it's like very beetrooty. Does um, beetroot make your weed smell different? Oh, I hope not. Well, I took, took ages to find these because I didn't know what they were called. What do you call them? Eggplant. But it's called an aubergine here. I'd yeah, like yeah, to know aubergine. why you call it aubergine, but anyway. Because it's what it is. Is that I purple got... or black? No, it's, oh my God, are you kidding? Google it. This would be so much easier if I wasn't colorblind. Um, <laughs> I got red plum conserve. Plum I got conserve. a purple onion. That's a red onion. <laughs> There's a purple yes, onion. there is a thing called a purple <laughs> onion. Fair, though, that I is asked purple. the man in the shop, where's your purple onions? And he pointed to this. So <laughs> there is a purple onion in there. Olives, I know they look a little bit brown on Hang here, on. but they've got tinges of purple. It's like a really dark purple. That I mean, you can blame it on the lighting, but they're... Ooh. No, colour mala. They are, do you know what? They are kind of... They are purple, colour yeah. mala olives. And this last but not good. least, 
Great. Grapes, and you do not tell me they're not purple because well, they, they are they are crystal clear purple. Red seedless grapes. Purple seedless grapes. Why did they do vegetables sit like I didn't actually get blueberries in the end? You didn't get blueberries. No, threw oh. me with the name. So we're gonna make. Well, I'm gonna make a sweet and savoury pizza. Where's okay. the cheese? So, well, this pizza is healthy. We're not okay. putting cheese on it. Okay. Right. Show me what you got. Right. So this is what I went for. Obviously, my colour was orange, uh, and so inside my orange bag, chicken. Oh my god, chicken's not orange. Oh, you should, look at that colour. Look at what is that yeah, colour? Look. look at the juice. That is, you are cheating so much. How am I cheating? No, 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 no. Already, you've we cheated. said in the rules. It's, it's what colour the food is, where you see it. What colour is that? You tell me what colour that is. I'd say that's oil colour. Yeah, and what, but what colour is that? It's an orange, admittedly, when it, before it was marinated in Cajun, it wouldn't have been orange. But, as I Duh. see it, look, as I see it, hold it right there. That is, you cannot tell me that's not orange. Bosch, an orange pepper. Capsicum. Yeah, all right, whatever. Got one of these! Oh, <laughs> yeah, see, you're so much luckier than me. Big old carrot! And then uh, I've got one of these. That is not orange. A sweet, yeah, but that's like saying like that's like saying that this is not um, red. It's what you see. Like this, yeah. All right, but look. Once I as thought soon you as said. You... I thought you said it's what you see. Yeah, but you as can't soon as... have one rule for chicken and one right, rule look, for sweet potato. Look, 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 look. What's that then? What? Oh yeah, it's not an orange. <laughs> but when I mash it up, you know that'll go orange. This is where I start to get a bit adventurous. Bosch, red Leicester cheese, which is of course. Bright orange. I've gone for Doritos, right? What, are you going to eat them while you're cooking? Yes, <laughs> no, tangy cheese Doritos. But then last but not least, I've got honey. Interesting one. There's almost too much option for me with orange. Yeah. And I thought honey, because that's a kind of an orangey colour. And I thought I can incorporate into here and make some sort of lovely, sweet, mashy, vegetable crunch. <laughs> 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 so no, sorry, I really like, I, Do you I, actually know what you're going to cook or you've just gone yes. for orange things? Chicken laying on a bed of sweet potato uh, and uh, orange capsicum uh, mash with melted cheese on top of the chicken um, with some fine wisps of <gasps> carrot across um, with some crunched up um, Dorito, Doritos oh over the top of it and with a fine drizzle of honey on the top. Bosh. Without further ado, let's begin the cook off. Okay. Let's go. go. Please be careful, Diane. Oh, no, that's not the purple. right knife for that kind of vegetable. No, it is. Trust me, it's not. It's oh, the... she's sharp as anything. Yeah, can you please be careful? Look at that. Look how smoothly she's. <gasps> don't, don't even joke about it, because one day it's going to happen, probably, for one of us. Right, look at this. You peel. Why is that? What is your that? Sweet What's potato that? mash. It's the first time I've ever peeled a sweet potato. Is it? I used yeah. to I used to peel sweet potatoes all the time. Really? Yeah. Getting my first pan out. I'm already at once. You're in the pan. With Joe and Diane. <laughs> hey! We said the name of the channel in the video. That's cool. Olive oil has a very, very strong smell, doesn't it? Um, hello? Yeah, I'll just pass you on. Hold on. Hello? <laughs> Yeah, I know. It does have a very strong smell, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, then. I know I'm going to win, yeah. Yeah, all right. I'll tell him. Bye. He says yours is going to be very bad. Cool, thank you. OK, Google. How do you make m sweet potato mash? OK, I've got a recipe called Quick and Easy Sweet Potato Mash from All Recipes UK. There's three steps. I'll read them one by one. Cool, great. When you're ready to hear more, you can say next step. Yeah. First Next step. step. Place potatoes into a large pot and cover with salt. Next step. Water. Google. Is Joe Savvy cheap? I'm gonna cut the potato like an onion. Oh, my purple is looking divine. Oh, mine's Thanks, starting Sarah. to sizzle. Oh, do you know what? Chicken's got to go in. Chicken's got to go in. Let that sizzle away. I want it almost caramelised. Did you hear that word, Joe? Yeah. Caramelised. Yeah, yes. check you out your fancy lingo. I think I'm going to bake these. I am now going to roast my beetroot. <laughs> We're going to say, I am now going to roast my boyfriend. <laughs> then right. on. Sweet potato is in the pan. Do you have any alfoil? Who? Alfoil. Alfoil? Yeah. Do you mean like aluminium foil? Like Alfie, but with a foil on the end. Okay, so you put the water in like this. Now this is going to simmer away. Whoa! Whoa, that's orange. Whoa, it's like instead of pink eye, you I got orange eye. Check that out. 
now. Whoa! Fruits, um, vegetables cool. <laughs> That's the lamest thing I've ever said in my life. Whoa, veg Whoa vegetables, vegetables cool. cool. Mm, smells so beetrooty. That's the thing, it's just, just going to be like a, just a beetroot. A beetroot mess. Next up, I'm going to wash my carrot. Do you want to come and wa watch me wash my carrot? <laughs> Not really. Why? Give it a good wash. Make sure you get it all the little nooks and crannies. That looks gross. Doesn't, because <laughs> sweet and savoury is what everything's about these uh, days. Mm, gross. So I'm going to peel my carrot, like so, and just really get a sense of like what it is like to peel a carrot. Now she pops into the oven. Excuse me, Joseph. Yeah. Oh, my beetroot is looking good. How's my chicken looking? <laughs> well, I tell you what, it's not looking. It's oh. not looking orange. Yeah, it's, how can you not say it's orange? I'm sorry, but how can you not say it's orange? Hands yours up, looks, has anyone seen an orange chicken? Yours looks um, red. First of all, I go and wash my carrot. Now you go and wash your grapes. Would you like a grape? Would What's you like to try one? Uh, they nope, you can't. Okay. You're on orange. Look at those beautiful purple olives. Now, the question is, do they have pips in them? Yes, they do. Cheese is going to go on top of the, um, towards the end, it's going to go on top of the chicken, and so it's got a nice cheesy melt on top of the chicken. Okay, Google. Okay, indeed. How can I Whoa. Do Whoa. you know? Do you know what caramelization means? It's all right. I didn't need to know anyway. Oh, yeah, I will. Serious note. Like you shouldn't be using that knife for that because it's going to slip and you're going to cut yourself. Maybe I'll start work on my sweet potato mash now. Yeah, I mean, your sweet potato mash is ready. Yeah, okay. Uh, but are you trying to trick me, though? No, it's know. ready. How do you know? Uh, see, I don't <laughs> trust you at all. You've got a little smirk on your face, I bet. I can't wait to try it. Do you know my mum won an award for sweet potato mash? Did she? Yeah, she actually did. I don't believe that. No, I'm not even kidding. And you get it on a very, very low heat. And you get your potato masher. This is where the fun begins. Why have you put milk in there? Yeah, why is there milk in there? That's weird. Did you put milk in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do with other mash. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but milk is not purple. I mean, milk's not orange. You're right, milk is not purple. Milk's not orange. It's not milk, it just comes, it just came out of the, it's the byproduct of the sweet potato mash. Diane, you lied to me, that's not done. My beetroot is cooking up an absolute storm. Right, back to the drawing board. I've completely messed this up. Oh, oh no. no you're, cooking, you're cooking your mash in milk now. I actually can't believe you did that. But what are you doing? What's this burnt mash in this pan? It's not a burnt <laughs> mesh. You try it and you'll be like, that caramelization is so good. I'm going to allow it. I'm going put my hand there. You go, no, you can't have any. Oh, Why? na na. What's my name? Oh, na na. May as well be Gordon Ramsay. Look at that. Look at this. Oh. What did the grapes say to the olive? Um, no, great, did... great to meet you. What did olive, the... Oh, great to meet what you, Olivia. The, what did the olive say to the grape? Great. No. I'll stop your Great name. I'll stop your wine. I'll stop your whining. <laughs> did you like my one? Bosh that in there, like that. Oh. See? Yes. Yes. I told you. All kinds of yes. That's cool. Look at that. Yeah, that's really orange now. Now, here comes the fun part. Cheese going on to the chicken. That's right, Diane. That's right. I'm prepping my dish. Oh, the carrots have not really done what I wanted them to do. I should have put mine in tin foil, admittedly. So we're just going to tear off bits of cheese, lay it across the chicken like so. Just little bits on that, just so it can start to melt. Right, little secret ingredient going in now. Oh. I'm going to put a little bit of honey in with the sweet potato mash. So it's going to be super sweet potato. Not necessarily, because it's the tiniest little bit of honey. That's literally it. Tiniest little little dollop in there, little glaze. Mash that all in with the sweet potato mash. Perfect. That is caramelised beautifully. <gasps> Look at my cheese. Is that done? Yeah. <laughs> is it actually cooked? Quite. You just burnt, your, you just burnt yourself. Careful. Oh, that bowl will be hot. I mean, it looks exactly the same as when you put it in. <laughs> Yeah, but now it's hot. Has it and risen? look at that, it's caramelised. I mean, and look at that, it's not even set, it's still like Ooh, wet jam. No, that's good, that's what we want. You can't just use the word caramelised and say and, and make it out like that's like a cool thing. Like, no, but it is because all my food is caramelised. Yeah, but you're just saying it, you don't actually know what it is. And not. look at this. Look what we have in here. 
Oh la 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 la. You know what, I don't actually know if I like any of your food. Not in a mean way, but I just don't know if I like beetroot enough to... Oh, it's very... Want it. So much beetroot. Would you order that in a restaurant? I mean, I probably would, you know. But beetroot is not for everyone. And do you know what? If I could have some other colours in there, I would probably put on it some um, feta. Yeah, feta would be good on that. And now we put on some onion. Wow, that does look quite cool. And then, to add some sweetness, we're gonna add some sweet grapes. Here goes nothing. First of all, we lay a nice flat bed of our gorgeous sweet potato mashed potato. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you always do your plate diamond shaped? It's the moment of truth. This is a dangerous time, Diane. Excuse me. Okay, we've got our gorgeous chicken breast. No rest. Mm -hmm. on there like that. So now, whilst our cheese is still hot, we open our Doritos, like so. You get a handful, and you just, literally like, literally two or three. Don't eat a lot. And we just that was crush them up orange. into our hands. Crush them up like so. You just drop that on there, you get a nice crisp base. Just a bit of like extra garnish, a bit of crispy carrot on there like that. Try and get into the crispy bits. Don't need to get all of it because it's just the crispy, crispy bits. That's cool. Like that. And it's right to have the little bit messy bits on the plate like this. It looks quite cool like that. And then the final touch, just one bit of honey that goes like that across the meal. And voila, there you go. So time is up. Uh, we have our two uh, our two dishes here, which I think that they're they're looking good. We've you know, we've done the brief. We have. We've, we've taken the brief on board and we've we've supplied. I think. Um, I'm Diane, quite happy with mine. Although this is all raw. Yeah, but this is just Decoration. garnish. Oh, uh, I see. Just garnish. It's it's meant to be a um, dairy milk egg. Dairy milk egg. Yeah, you what? know the purple bunnies. What are you on about? Well, that's a bunny ears. Oh, uh, I see, right. The clomper feet, whiskers. You've made eyes. it. Nice. Easter was a long time ago, though. I know. I, on the other hand, went for this. The sweet potato mash is there. We've got the chicken with the cheese on top, melted cheese with crunchy bits of Dorito. I and quite then the... like the crunchy bits of Dorito. Yes, yeah, that's what gives an extra little bit of a uh, texture that to it. That is also raw. Is that just garnish? That's raw as garnish, yeah, but you can actually eat that raw. I don't think you're allowed to eat. People don't eat no, those raw normally. No. Whereas this, it's fine. Gives it lots of different, you've got so many different textures in here. But anyway. Well, should we try? Let's dig in. Let's tuck in and see what we think. I'm going to cut Let's straight. For, oh, look I'm at go that. The edge here. It smells mash. like you, it's done a fart. No, that was me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Go on and try it. Mmm. Is it good? There's a real abundance of flavours in there. Jeez Louise. Right. The cheese is good. The sweet potato mash is good. Let's try my purple pizza eater. So caramelized. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you need to caramelize. You can taste the honey, the honey in there. Mm. The honey really gives it something. Go on, get it down you. Sink it. Get all that purpley goodness in there. Your poo's gonna come up well back. So, don't be alarmed when you eat this meal. Quite a, a lot of jam on that. <laughs> <laughs> They're quite sweet. It is it's sweeter than I thought it would be. <laughs> I might just get a little bit more of the onion and my caramelised. <laughs> oh, it's messy to eat, but... Oh. I mean, I, I'm feeling confident, you know. You've got to try it with everything. Mm. Oh. You got a little bit of that. That's it, you got it, you got it, you got it. You know what? I'll, I'll be honest with myself and say I probably put too much jam on the, <laughs> on the bottom. I could have told you that from the start, I think. But that dough is good. Is it? Mm -hmm. But the dough, why, why is your nose running? <laughs> Got a sweetness in one bite. <laughs> you give that a go. Double check that's cooked, yep. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's not meant to be, you know? Maybe it's just not meant to be. Who the hell eats pizza with a knife and fork? It's uh, a pizza. Me, I was brought up in Bath. 
Here we go. They look quite nice. Yeah. Do you know what? I actually like yours. Do you? Mmm. High spoon. Fork. Fork. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sweetness of it. It still tastes savoury. Mm. There's a lot going on there. It's very messy. It's quite hard to eat. It is very messy, yeah, isn't it? It's a nightmare. Mm. You've overcrowded it a little bit. Yeah, I have. I could have probably put less um, jam mm. and less other things. Yeah, just less and less is more sometimes. Yeah. Yours, I'm going to say, is a little bit one flavoursome. I'm sorry. One, you didn't say it right. And two, how is it? It hits me with one flavour. That's what? And what's that? I feel like I'd get reflux. <laughs> you know when it sits yeah, there. Yeah, I know what you mean. What, 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 how? For I feel what? like that wouldn't be a good. I just fell over. I'm sorry. But oh, I feel like wouldn't that it? wouldn't be a, a good first date meal. That's not the challenge. The challenge is. I know. You. The color. I mean, the color's good. I'll give you that. Except for, can I just say, except for the inside what? of that. What about it? It's very white. So, so the, what's the inside there then? Oh. What's, what color is that? Do you know what I mean? I'd give you six pans out of ten. Six? I would give you... I think I'd give you the same. Six. Really? Yeah. Happy with that or not happy with that? I'd probably give you five and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Colour-wise, what's the nicest colour? Does orange win or does purple win? Guys, we'll let you decide in the comments below. Who did you think looks the best? Who do you think probably tastes the best? I know you can't taste it, but who do you think is overall the best? And who would you want to go and who would you want to go and make and try out? Yeah, exactly. Try it out yourself. We've given you the ingredients. Give it a go and let us know what you think. Try them both and let us know who you think the winner is. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, um, and we will see you again very soon with some more attempted cooking delights. Thanks for watching. Bye.